Are you ready to find out the difference of being an agency owner versus being a freelancer? In this video, I'm going to answer a question I've gotten a lot of how to basically get started as an agency owner, should I start that or should I stick being a freelancer? And I'll walk you guys through my own experience having my own virtual assistant agency in the Philippines in the last five years and also someone who did do freelancing as of course as I begun my career. So the first difference is when you are a freelancer, it is the work that you are doing yourself. It is basically your hours directly or your output directly when it comes to working with with a client so for example for me when I was a freelancer I was doing writing and editing services so I would write blogs or I would be proofreading someone else's work so those were the two services that I did so whatever I gave to the client was something that I was the one who put in the hours and of course putting in my experience as someone who's been doing it for a while to be able to add that for the output that the client wanted versus when you are an agency owner you are managing the people who are doing the work what that means is that for example you know on to exuve I'm not a virtual assistant like a lot of people have made that mistake where hey are you a virtual assistant yourself have you done virtual assistant work to be honest not really I may have done like admin work but that was mostly for my own business so I know what it looks like I know what it looks like to get that work done but for us we hire and manage the virtual assistants that our clients are working with so it's not anymore my direct hours it's not anymore directly my output or my experience I'm managing the people who are getting that work Done. So that's it. there's a level of separation basically where you are instead of b being the person who's doing the work you're managing and supporting people who are doing the work for the clients and that's kind of just the first line of difference between the two is you have that level of separation already to begin with you're intentional about it versus when you are a freelancer and you're turning into an agency owner there might be a little bit of an overlap where you're doing some of the work and you're starting to delegate it to other people for me i was very deliberate about the difference between me when i was a freelancer versus when i started to xu is i made sure that i was not the person who was doing the service i was just managing the person who is doing that particular service. I basically came in with the expertise when it came to building systems and training virtual assistants because even though I've never really been a virtual assistant myself, I've kind of built up over the course of a year and a half the expertise of training people on how to do the admin work, social media work that most virtual assistants would do. So that was kind of where I started out with with 2 weeks series. I knew how to train virtual assistants. I knew how to support them in the best way so they could show up in the best way for their clients as well. Now a similarity between a freelancer and an agency owner is you do have to do the work of finding clients and this is something that you can't really escape if you are working if you are having a career where you're doing it kind of on your own and you also have your own business especially more when you have your business because you have to find a way to regularly get clients so then you can keep scaling especially if you lose one client you have to make sure that that virtual assistant is taken care of or that employee is taken care of by finding another client and it's the same for any kind of agency owner as well if if you have a marketing agency, if you have a sales agency, you have to kind of constantly be on the lookout of finding clients. You're the person to be able to do it. But again, versus like if you were a freelancer, you're also networking and doing the work at the same time. So there's that level of difference there. But honestly, it is that same pathway of you have to be the one constantly looking for a client. Next difference is when you're a freelancer, you kind of have a little bit better flexibility when it comes to your time, depending on how many clients that you have or the kind of work that you do. As a very good example, one of my very first coaching students when I was still a career coach, he works only two days a week because he's really efficient at what he does, at both the graphic and the video editing work that he can get you know, 40 hour work week done in two days and he basically has the flexibility to do other things on the other days. Just because he's a little bit more output based instead of hourly based when it comes to working with this client versus when you are an agency owner you kind of have a little bit of a structured day mostly because you will be going to meetings with people with your team with the people that you are working with with the different clients you might have so for example for me I do have a structured day like I have things that I'm making sure that are running well I'm checking in with the team I'm checking in with making sure that they have the things that they need to keep going even without me being there so I do have a little bit more structure to my day to just make sure that things are running in of the business so it's kind of one thing over the other however later on as an agency owner especially as you start hiring managers for example for myself for the last year and a half I've been focused on basically 
hiring out a lot of amazing managers inside of 2XU so that I'm not the one always checking in, especially when we hit 20 plus virtual assistants. And I was like, I can't do all of these 20 meetings with the assistants and the clients anymore. So then we started hiring a management team. So you do start getting a little bit of flexibility, a little bit of freedom there, but to start, you do have the responsibility of making sure that your people or your team has what they need to be able to keep going. Next is when you're a freelancer, you might have a little bit of a more varied income versus when you're an agency owner, you might have just a more diversified income where they're coming from. So what I mean by this is the varied income when you're a freelancer is you might have, you know, two clients, one part-time, one full-time that you're working with. And if one of those projects finish or if that client leaves and you have to go and basically find another client, so you kind of have an up and down when it comes to your income. Now, when you're an agency owner, you have kind of multiple streams of income-ish because you will have multiple clients working with the different employees basically that you have or the different services that you have. So for example, again, for a marketing agency, you might have 10 clients because you have people who are graphic artists, video editors on your team, copywriters, social media managers who are managing and working with them versus of course when you're the one social media manager, you're the freelancer, you might have one or two or three and again whenever one might leave or the project might wrap up, you have to find and look for a client again versus when you're an agency, if one client goes away, you do have other multiple streams of income basically from other clients and maybe other services that you might even have that you can use as a backup until you find a next client. And speaking of another difference between freelancer and agency owner, is when you're freelancer, you're really doing it on your own. What that means is you're kind of taking care of your own documentation. You're kind of making sure that you're sending out invoices or bills or following up clients. You are taking care of everything from sales to delivery to offboarding. You're making sure that the client has a really good experience throughout versus when you're an agency owner, you can start scaling yourself to multiple clients. So for example, again, for me and to XU, of course, since I'm not the one doing the service, I am mostly focused on the marketing and sales part of it, as well as the day-to-day -day operations. The getting clients is just my main focus. Taking care of our clients, we have our amazing managers at 2XU. It's basically scaled beyond just me being in meetings all day, making sure that everyone is good. Other people have been able to take that responsibility for me, so then I'm not the one doing it myself. So I've scaled in that way. I'm not anymore the person doing the job. I'm managing the people doing the job. And I wanted this video to end on a complete circle where on a freelancer, you're managing yourself. You're managing your time, you're managing your routine, you're managing paperwork for yourself, basically, your own insurance, all that good stuff, basically, making sure that you have the right tools, making sure you have the right systems for yourself versus when you're an agency owner, you're taking care of other legal documentations. You're making sure things like your taxes or your contracts are all in place. You're taking a little bit more of a risk of making sure that every time that you hire a person, that they're the right person for the client or for the service versus of course when you're a freelancer you kind of guarantee a little bit of the quality of the work just because you are the one doing the work when you're a freelancer you don't have to really worry about like oh will they show up in the right way with the client because you're the one showing up for the client you're managing yourself versus again when you're an agency owner you're a little bit running a risk running the bet of like this person will work out with this client just because it's not you anymore now would you a freelance would you go to agency owner really depends on your own goals and where you want to be I know so many people who never went the agency route they've been kind of the freelancer the last two decades they've been doing it on their own just because maybe managing people is not for them maybe managing a lot of clients is not for them maybe scaling themselves is not the fit and that's okay and it's not really one way or the other and then if you are trying to choose the agency route then I do have a ton of videos on how to be able to get yourself started on that path it does give you a little bit more of a varied income. It does give you a little bit more of a, hey, I'm not doing the service by myself anymore kind of pathway. So it really depends again on what fits and what makes sense for you, your goals, where you're at, and where you want to go in life. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there. In the comments, let me know, do you wanna be a freelancer or an agency owner? If you have any questions, I would be more than happy to answer them. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And remember that small steps matters. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.